Greetings, friends. This is Brumbeck, the author of Brumbeck's Inventory Sorting Mod for New Vegas. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to make compatibility patches with my renaming mod. Any mod that adds new items or weapons or anything that can be equipped or used in the menus will need to have a compatibility patch to retain the same item naming scheme that I use in my mod. And there are way too many mods for me to personally make compatibility patches. So I'm making this video so that if you use a mod where it adds a couple new items or a new weapon, you can go in and make a patch yourself and not have to wait for me. It's actually not hard at all to make a patch for simple mods. And the tool we're going to be using is Fallout New Vegas Edit, FNV Edit, which you can find on New Vegas Nexus. Or you can just simply go to Google and type in FNV Edit, and it's the first entry in Google. So that is the first step to make a compatibility patch. Make sure you have FNV Edit installed. Let me also add that if you use a mod that edits existing items or weapons in Fallout New Vegas, then that mod will overwrite my changes in my naming mod if that mod loads after my mod in your load orders. So when you go into Fallout Mod Manager, which this mod assume which this video assumes you're aware of Fallout Mod Manager, again just Google it. It's the best tool for quickly ordering and installing mods. So this mod, my mod that is, will change the names. And here's the load order I have right now for my mod. I have it loading very early after all the master files, the ESM files in, in bold. And then after the community patches, then I have my main inventory sorting. But then we see all the other mods loading down below here after my mod. And so mods such as Weapon Mods Expanded edits some of the original weapons and mods and a few other things that come with Fallout New Vegas. And so it's going to be overriding my changes. So the reason we need to make a compatibility patch is so that my changes can be added to a compatibility patch as we see right here, BIS Weapon Mods Expanded, that I've already made and released. And so that is taking all the edits Weapons Mod Expanded Mods Expanded includes and simply adding my naming scheme so that it retains the best of both. And so that's what a compatibility patch is. And so that's just a note that if you have a mod that changes existing items and if you install my mod and all of a sudden you notice some of the items or names of various equipment are not having the proper tags, it's because you have a mod loading after my mod that is reverting all my naming changes. So I get a few comments about that occasionally on my mod page. The reason is because you have a mod loading after my mod that is reverting the name changes. Just something to be aware of as far as load order of mods, which is why when we create these compatibility patches, like we see here, the sprintmod.esp, and then we have this sprintmod pedometer util change and that is the compatibility patch for the sprint mod so we have to have the main bis and then down below sprint mod and then after that the compatibility patch for that mod always has to be in that order that's very key and if you read my readme for the mod you'd know that just a tip before we start okay let's jump into it we're going to create a compatibility patch for a very easy mod the sprint mod I've already created it if you've downloaded my mod, but I just want to go through this for training purposes. It's very easy to do because there's only one item the Sprint mod adds. It's a utility item, the pedometer, that adds into your menu an item to control the Sprint settings. So what we will do is make sure you always first install the mod that you need to create the compatibility patch for. Set the load order then in Fallout Mod Manager, which turns out I already have open. Yeah, whatever. And so uh, install the Sprint mod. Got it installed here. Set the load order, which is easy, just uh, my inventory sorter, then sprint mod. And now what we will do is run FNV edit. Now there'll be a list of files here. Simply right click and select none. That always just gets rid of all the selected items that are your current load order. All we need to do is load the sprint mod. You can just double click on a mod and it will load just that file. So we're just loading the sprint mod into Fallout Vegas edit. 
And now here is the sprint mod loaded. It says background loader finished, so everything is good. We click on this, and now we see all the different categories this sprint mod edits. There's only certain categories that have items in them. All of these categories, except for armor, don't have items, so we don't care about any of these. All we care about is armor. The sprint mod adds an armor. You probably didn't think it did, but it simply calls this utility an armor technically, although it's obviously not an armor. So here we see the name, Vault Tech Pedometer with parentheses. It adds the parentheses so it can be alphabetical at the start of your list. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. What we want to do is copy these records. Each one of these items here is a record. Now there's these other two items here that don't have any name. You can see name and it's blank. Also here a blank. These are just tokens for the script. Anyway, just kind of behind the scenes stuff. All we care about is the items that you can actually see in game. There's only two of them here. And so what we do is we can select both. You can hold out a control to select the others. We right click and we do copy as override into. Never do copy as new record. That's not what we want ever. We want copy as override into. This will copy just these two items into a new ESP, the compatibility. Now it's going to say, are you sure you want to edit this? We're not really going to be editing, but just hit yes. Now we click on new file and you can just double click and it'll come up with a naming screen. We type in bis. We'll do dash in the sprint raw sprint mod. And so this will be the compatibility patch. Oh, bother. File already exists. Why does it mock us? I went through this previously. Make sure I knew what it was talking about. We'll call it Sprint Mod 1 for the fun of it. And now it says it's going to make a master of Sprint Mod, which is fine because that's the mod that we're getting these two records from. Anyway, so here we click on this. Now we can simply right click on this and do edit. When we click on this, you'll see it has these two columns. And here's the original record, and here's the copy of that record where we can now edit whatever field we want to on this. So we're going to change the name, and we just do a right-click edit. So when you're on here, just right-click edit. Now we get rid of the parentheses. Type in util, which is what I use in my mod. Util colon space, vault tech pedometer. We click on the next item here. Right-click edit. Same thing. That renames both items, and that is actually all we need to do for the sprint mod is to just edit those two. And now we can see that they turn green. This means they're changing the other the items that the original mod, sprint mod, has. What well, all we're changing is the name. Notice we don't change any of the effects or the icons or any of this other stuff. We're just changing the name. And now what we can do is we can simply hit this X up here to close the program. And it's going to notice that we've made changes. And it'll come up and say, save changed files. Now we click yes to save the changes, the BIS Sprint Mod 1. And now that has closed Fallout New Vegas Edit. And now we've created a compatibility patch. If we go into Fallout Mod Manager again, we will note that it's, the new file we have is now at the very bottom because they're sorted by date. So the new file was just created. Now we can simply drag it up right under the sprint mod to keep our load order clean and see here's the one I previously created so now we would just click it to enable it and now what's going to happen is the sprint mod will load you'll have all the sprint functionality but now this bis sprint mod will load after it and it's going to edit those two file those item those armors to change the name to the util tag just like my mod uses so that's a compatibility patch for the sprint mod that's all it takes now it's just a slight outro for this video. I just want to add a few things that when you're creating a plugin, one way you can figure out what categories need to be changed is just run Fallout New Vegas Edit, select the BIS main file Brumbex Inventory Sorting, load that, and then now it's going to come up in just a second here with a list of all the categories that my mod changes. Here they are right here. Ingestible, Ammunition, Armor, Book, Caravan Card, car Casino Chip, Caravan Money, item mod, miscellaneous item, and weapon. These are the only categories my mod changes. So if any mod adds new ingestible items, such as we see chems, aids, alcohol, food, drink, all that type, those will need to be changed. Ammunition is, ammunition is easy because it's just all the ammo. If a mod adds new ammo or edits existing, same with armor. If it edits existing armor or adds new armor, book not many mods add new books but if they change the values of how many points like for instance the survival guide and all the different uh, guns and bullets if they change the values for these then you would need to change 
the entries in creative compatibility patch, caravan card are all the different cards. So if they add new decks of cards, casino chip is the different currency for the casinos that they added a new casino with new currency, you need a mod. And then the currency itself, like the Legion money, NCR money, if they added new money or changed the value, then you need to create a compatibility patch. Any mods they changed, if they didn't like how the mod system worked for weapons, and they changed it so the 357 revolver had a different name or different stats for what it does instead of just increasing condition, for instance, then you would need to create a compatibility patch for that. Miscellaneous item is a large category with all the different items, the quest items, then just the random various items, all the reloading items like your cases for ammo. And finally we have weapons, which is obviously all the weapons in the game. And I use the four digit renaming of the W then for unarmed and energy and melee. And so any, any weapons or mods that change weapons or add new weapons need, needs to have a compatibility patch. Anyway, so I just wanted to add that as an outro. These are the categories. Ingestible, and the reason ingestible is first and not, not alphabetical is because it was actually alchemy from Oblivion. They just changed it when they did Fallout New Vegas. Just a random side note there. Thank you.